In this video, I'm going to talk about a uh, smart email address uh, validation functionality within Power Apps. Now, uh, as you see over here, this is a very simple table. It has a name column and it has a couple of email address field. Okay, so if you see this column, uh, let me show you this column. This is basically a text column. Uh, and single line of text but the format is email okay so what it does is like if we format this with email it will try validating those uh, and check whether it follows the email uh, syntax or not okay so same thing with this column email old is as well a uh, single line of text and format is email now this is a simple table i have uh, created an app out of it which is an email model driven app and this is how the app looks like so this is in the edit mode for that app and if i want to play this app what i'm going to do i'm just click on play and see the behavior so if i click on new uh, i can put some value in name and i can put some email address okay so if i put a in the email address and this cross out see what happens it gives you an error message the email will enter a valid email address okay so same thing i can do over here and put an add the rate uh, and then something say enter a valid email address so if i put dot com now this will treat this as a proper email address okay now um, yes if we follow the proper syntax of email address this control works fine however the issue with this control is uh, this only checks from a syntax perspective it checks for some character before the add the rate needs to have an add the rate and then some characters after add the rate and then dot and then some characters okay so it's mainly about syntax okay so there's nothing about semantics now we exactly don't know whether this particular email address exists or not or if that domain exists or not okay so how do we validate that thing to happen okay now if i save this this will allow me to save okay it will treat that as a valid email address but technically this email address does not exist or this domain does not exist so how do we validate those things okay so for that what you need to do is a couple of things uh let me yeah what do you need to do you need to go into the uh say your environment okay so if i'm in my environment and if you go under settings okay so let me show you my environment so i have a couple of environment over here if i click on this environment and then uh, click on settings under uh, product features you will see one uh, check mark to be made under data validation so here in data validation you need to enable email address validation in model driven app so it's in the preview state as of now so let me mark this as a tick and click on save okay so what essentially we are doing we are uh, putting an another level of check in email address validation okay so after a while like uh, once you are in your uh, model driven apps maybe you need to publish your app again and then try to see whether it uh, whether the changes are reflected or not just by testing the application so let me uh, run this app and see now if i click on new uh, I put something on name and now here if the changes are present then i can see something reflected over here okay now here uh, i believe the changes are still not persisting okay let me go back to the So let me go back again to the environment and see. Sometimes the changes are not uh, easily, uh, like say, persisted across your tenant. So you may have to again go into the check-in, uh, go ahead and check the settings uh, and see uh, whether the changes are persisted or not. Now it's taking a while. So let me again refresh my model driven app and see whether the changes are done or not so click on new that's taking a while so maybe the changes are still getting propagated yes so now if you see 
it has started doing some action over here okay now let me show you uh, so here if I start typing something say this email address okay now let's say this is the domain okay now this is this domain may not exist okay dot com okay if I start typing it it says validating email address and then it gives an option domain is unknown okay so what uh, it is doing it is going two steps okay so one is it will check for a proper email address so now if i have this email address defined now it will try finding out and maybe this domain uh, might be existing and that's why it does not show anything now if i do some other characters over here and then it will start says this domain is unknown okay now let's see if it works for my domain as well so my domain uh, uh, exists and that's why it will not throw any error but if i put something else over here then it will start validating now again this is like an improvement in the one step uh, process that uh, rather than looking into from a syntax perspective it is looking from a semantic perspective however this is not foolproof okay now i've given you an example like say this email address because i know this domain exists so it will not throw any error but what is the guarantee that this email address is valid within that domain that you may never come to know it's just that it will check for a domain level check now i know this email address does not exist okay however this control has still validated that this email address is kind of valid based on just looking into the domain component okay so uh, that's all about a uh, smart email address validation in uh, dynamics uh, and power apps uh, application now uh, one more thing what you need to do is like I forgot to show you one thing one before you create that model driven app okay there's one more setting you need to do over here as this is in a preview mode under model driven app you need to click on settings and then under upcoming try to search for email okay and here it needs to be enabled okay if it is turned off then this particular uh, your behavior will not be reflected in your model driven app so make sure that couple of things you need to do one is within model driven app you need to enable this upcoming feature which is enable email address email smart email address validation control and under environment settings uh, you may need to let me go into the environment settings and under environment settings you need to go into your specific environment we go into my environment yeah you need to go into your environment and within environment settings you select your desired environment and click on settings and then uh, under product go to features and make sure that below data validation is turned on okay so these are the two steps you need to follow and then the moment you use the email validated control then you will be able to validate the domain as well so that's it folks this is all about uh, the new functionality called a smart email validation within power apps thanks for watching